Okay. Thank you very much, Kevin, for that introduction. And Thank good you. morning, morning, everyone, and, and welcome to our sixth webinar. Um, it's a proud moment for me this morning. First of all, I've got this fantastic device behind me, our new Lanox Naboo Kami oven, which I'll talk in depth about today, and we'll do some cooking in it. And also we'll introduce our Lanox Sapiens, which is the sister model to the side of that. We will be running a webinar later during the course of the, of the year, possibly a couple of weeks time, and do in-depth um, presentation as well on the Sapiens. But again, I'll just briefly go across that one as well. Another thing that makes me really proud is the involvement that we have with the Burn Chef Project, raising uh, mental health awareness in hospitality and the workplace, which is an, uh, a, a cause that's very, very close to so many people's hearts and it affects so many people. So thank you for the Burn Chef Project and Chris Hall for uh, making us involved with this um, fantastic um, project. Anyway, so the Naboo, let's start. You know, there'll be loads of questions gonna come in and which I'll answer as accurately as I can. Just to start off with, we have a beautiful presentation, a fantastic unit. The question will probably come, what makes a difference, Sean? You know, it looks exactly the same as the last one. There's so many new, new technologies that makes this unit getting to the next level and hence the reason for it called boosted. I'm gonna jump on the control panel. As you can see, it's a very, very bright screen. It's very intuitive. It's very interactive. It's incredibly great a learning tool for somebody that's new to a combination oven to don't stress, you know, it's very, very easy to operate this device. Pretty much similar to your smartphone, your tablet is exactly the same. So, you know, really, really easy to operate. What I'm gonna do and showcase today, we do have the normal features of course, which is your dry heat on convection, your steam, your combination mode, and also the regeneration mode. But I want to show you specifically today, the fantastic feature of multi-level cooking. And today I'm gonna to do the just-in-time multi-level function, which are all the dishes that I'm gonna prepare inside the oven on the recipe ready at the same time. So I'm gonna start off by pressing the multi-level. The unit's gonna preheat really, really fast to 264 degrees. And then I'm gonna start loading the oven as it prompts me when to load it. Okay. So again, with the boostedness of the unit, the oven is really, really fast. So it's gonna to get to the temperature very quick. We also have the opportunity to preheat the oven to 320 degrees. So in instances where you are bulk loading um, the unit, whether it's a 10 grid, a 20 grid, whether it's a six grid, if you are loading it full with heavy product, a dense product of protein, the oven will then have a residual heat inside the chamber, which will allow you then to recover the temperature loss due to the door being open and the loading process in so much faster, which will in the end cut down on your cooking times for certain. So it'll be really, really, really fast. Okay, so as the oven is preheating at the moment, on your screen, you can see I'm in a multi-level program. It's giving me the option of, it's on, the, on a preheat. I can see the temperature rising. And on the left-hand side, you can see shells one to 10, which is coinciding with your shells one to 10 inside your chamber on this device. I've initiated that I want to cook it on the just-in-time um, feature, which is a fantastic tool to have if you're serving um, a la carte meals, for instance, or even serving a set menu that you want those products on, this, on, the, on the various dishes that you're presenting, serving it together at the same time for the customer. Again, really, really helping making the service so, so efficient and really, really easy. So today I've prepared a menu of, uh, of four, different, uh, four different recipes that I've created for today. I'll be doing scallops from the Isle of Barra which a friend of mine has kindly um, given me before the, before the lockdown. And I'll do green bean that with lovely peas. And I'm gonna do a velouté of wild garlic and chives with that as well, with some shoots. Then I'm also gonna grill a steak. I'm gonna grill a ribeye steak inside the oven, get it to a stage of medium where you want ribeye really to be. And just to show that the real, real, the effort that this unit is putting in, ensuring that you can even do a grilled steak inside, inside the cavity in no time at all. So the steak should be ready in five minutes. Then I'm also gonna do salmon. I'm gonna do a, a nice little salmon dish with nice spring colors to it. Again, using the wild garlic, which I harvested from the hills beyond the, the Wallace Monument this morning. And I'll be doing that again, a nice presentation. And then I'll follow that by doing a whole chicken breast. So it's a free range chicken breast, quite a plump one, which I'm gonna cook as well. I'm gonna serve it with a cassoulet of white beans and pancetta. And this dish will be always ready in 10 minutes. So all four dishes together will then be ready in exactly 10 minutes ready to go to the table, which is fantastic. And again, it's just me going to do all the, all the items together inside the oven. Okay. Any questions at the moment, Kevin? All 
Okay, I'll just continue. Again, with the, with the unit and year, of course, you can see the on off button in front, which again simplifies the whole process of switching the unit on and off. And again, great to have it's robust handles um, involved as well in the, the, the unit. And when, I, when I'm finished the cooking and I open up, I'll show more of the features inside. On the right hand side, as before, we've got our spray, sprayer. And on the left hand side of that, we have, we have a drawer where we can put our new smoking liquid pouches to be able to do the smoke grill inside the unit. We also have another ability to perform a bit of maintenance ourselves. And over here, I've got the filter, which I literally just pull out. And that filter will protect all the intricate parts inside your unit. So we can clean this filter on a, on a regular basis just by brushing that, um, that quite off. Okay, so my oven is really, really going fast. It's sitting at 160 degrees already. I'm gonna get my ingredients ready to the side and we're not gonna start loading. Okay. Kevin, are there any questions at this stage? Chef, yes, it is. Um, Chef, it's obvious from your social media posts like recently and over the years that you really like the, the Naboo Combi. What would be your main reason for this? Kevin, always, the, it's such an easy device to work with. We all have mobile phones, which are probably smart at the moment, so we know the applications work. It's a really, really easy device to work with. In fact, it's so easy, you know, when you are in a, in, in a stressful situation within the kitchen, maybe there's a staff member that didn't come in today or couldn't make it due to traffic, for instance, for any reason at all, this unit is designed to help you cope with those pressures that you have in the kitchen. So it is a really, really easy and efficient device to work with. Okay. I can add actually onto that. You know, it's a smart and intuitive device. Again, through the process, you'll see there's an, a, there's an Abu coach. It will come up during the cooking processes, which can advise you on some tips, which is a great feature to have as well. Also within the recipes, whether it's an ICS recipe, which is a Lenox set recipe or your own, you can then design the recipe and break it down as such so that all the information is contained within it from the recipe breakdown to the ingredients, to even the tray that you want to use, and also the image attached to that. So under no in, in circumstances during that process can you be confused with what you're cooking and how it's cooking it. So apart from the one touch recipe that we have that you saw on the main screen, you can also then cluster those recipes into folders, which you can access and from then it's one touch cooking as well. Or you can go into the manual or manual multi-level, set it on a parameter where you want to be, and then all the recipes which are stored in your device and, and synchronized in there, then you can cook on that multi-level according to, to, to your requirements. So it's a really, really, really helpful device. Okay. okay. So, so first it was the, the Naboo, Sean, um, and then Naboo Reloaded, and now we have the Naboo Boosted. Do you like your new oven? <laughs> So yeah, time will tell. I mean, there was a really, it was, um, it was a sad moment when I saw my last Nabu going. It served me faithfully for four and a half years. Saying that, it's my second full day with my Nabu um, boosted now, and already I'm feeling an affection for it. I'm sure that in weeks and months to come, you know, I'll grow as attached to this unit as what I did with my last, and then hopefully not in four and a half years' time, I have to say goodbye to this one for the new edition. I'll be yeah. sad again, but certainly a fantastic device, a fantastic device. Yeah. Chef, I know when we do our visits, like um, with, with customers, etc. Um, you know, you've always said it's it's like a it's, it's a unit you can trust. I mean, why would you rate trust as a main reason? One of the main reasons, Sean. Kevin, that is that is a, that's a strong statement. Eh? Um, any operator, any caterer or chef, um, during service time, they can ill afford a device, something going wrong, breaking down. That is a, a very very important part. That will not only throw all your timings out which will delay the food getting to the tables. It will also create an immense amount of stress in the kitchen trying to solve that problem at that moment. Lanox Naboo, Lanox ovens are very, very reliable. In the four and a half years I had my last unit, including my Sapiens, I haven't had one glitch and any problem at all. And it was a fantastic device and it served me very, very well. Okay. okay. So that's three, two degrees to go. And then we're at the, the temperature of 264 degrees from ambient. As you can see now on the top, I've got all the dishes I'm going to cook today and I'm going to put them onto various shelves. So I'll just scroll down. I'm going to do my chicken on shelf eight. I'll do my chips on shelf number three. I've got my steak, which I'll put right down on shelf 10. I've got the gratin, which I'll put on shelf two. Asparagus, I'll put on shelf one. 
also have the opportunity with the multi-level plus to do both sides of it. So I'll show you now, I can actually split the shelves in two as well, Kevin. So my scallops I'll put over there. Wine tomatoes I'll share with the shelf on one. And that's it. And I can start cooking. That's my multi-level program for today. And I press play. And now the units will tell me what to put in first. So I've got my chicken breast. But I'm going to slow it in. Okay, and now automatically, the unit, this recipe or this multi level program is set on 10 minutes, which is the complete time it will take to do the whole program. The chicken and breast is the longest one, it takes 10 minutes. It will start to count that down. As you can see, individual timers for the shells. It will also tell you how long you have left till the next one needs to go in. So I know after 4 minutes and 39 seconds, I need to start loading the rest of the products. So it, very, very intuitive, very, very informative. Um, you can't go wrong with this program for certain. Okay. Any other questions, Kevin? Yes, um, Sean, with, with the, uh, the Boo Boosted, there are, there are features that, um, you know, we, that we we're aware of. Um, so what I want to try and do really is, is like, because we have like, you know, this, this unit is quicker. Can you just explain why? Okay, Kevin, are you breaking up? Sorry, um, with, with, with the new features on the Naboo Boosted, over, yeah. over the, the, the Naboo Reloaded, um, yeah. there, are, there are many to mention. I mean, sort of like, so I'm gonna just go through some of them, but could you sort of like enhance on what, I, what I'm saying on these? Um, yeah. No, it's a quicker unit. It's got an extremely powerful steam generator, Kevin. The heating up times are so much, so much faster. The way that the, the oven cooks, it's a really, really powerful device. So certainly much quicker. We're talking about 24 chickens, in 30 minutes in a 10 grid combi oven. That's 30 minutes for 24 chickens. That's really fast. Yes, you know, amazing. We're talking about the whole oven from shelf one to shelf number 10, loaded with broccoli florets, yeah. fully loaded with broccoli florets. I'm talking about a 65 mil gastro, gastro tray one by one size, and that'll cook it in seven minutes. So it's a certain, a very, very, very quick device, very powerful. Okay, um, and what about the efficiency of the unit? There's, very, there's loads of different um, efficiencies with this unit, including a 30% saving on consumption of chemicals. And how do we achieve this? Lennox has designed a washing method now that we can do within 10 minutes. So before the washing cycle was already revolutionary fast, sitting at 23 minutes to 24 minutes, now there's a 10 minute washing cycle, which is extremely efficient. And by using the shorter washing cycle, of course, you are using less water, less chemical. There's a 30% saving in that. Okay. okay, heating yep. up the unit faster, achieving faster cooking times, they all contribute to these efficiencies. Okay. okay so two minutes, we'll just get the next product ready. Yeah, Kevin? So what, you mentioned about the Naboo coach, Sean, um, about the smart side of, of the unit. Uh, can you enhance on that? Yeah, so within a program, you'll see a pop-up banner coming up, and it's a Naboo coach that will give you information or hints if you want it. So you can disable it and say, I don't want it to, to have any advice with you now. Or you can then go later on and get some hints away from your, your settings. There's a little Naboo coach um, icon, which you can then get some advice. Because the unit is already Wi-Fi enabled, once you've registered your unit and it's there's some Wi-Fi connectivity within your building, you can then register with Naboo, which is your own Lennox profile, which you have, that you can manage recipes for your, for your kitchen, for the device. If you have multiple devices over various um, businesses, you can all link them together, all from one platform, from your desktop, your tablet, or a smart device, which is fantastic. And again, the Brew Coach comes in with that intelligence system of helping you, the user, achieve those. Also with the access to the cloud and to the access to Lennox's recipe bank, it's incredible. There's, there's many recipes in there which you can draw, draw from. No need to go to Google and type in and, and download a recipe. It's all in the cloud already. Great recipes which were developed including your own will be stored there safely where you'll have access to, which will also work as a backup for your unit. Okay, good. Sean, okay. so what about the sturdiness of the unit? The unit is extremely sturdy, Kevin. Again, with the stand, the way that it's mounted, the way that it is, is a very, very sturdy unit. There's been manufacturing efficiencies done as well. And again, it just all contributes to, you know, very, very good parts being used and, and the design methods in it. That's great, a sturdy unit that is fit for purpose. Okay, good, yeah. Sure, and, and also, uh, this is a smaller unit than, than the uh, Reloaded? 
Yeah, there's a, on this, there's, a, yeah, there's a definitely, there's a definitely a, a, a saving in, in floor space and in footprint for sure on this unit to the, to the opposite models. There's also, also, of course, the compact models available, which takes that space saving even further. So overall, Lenox is then adding that value to the industry by creating units which are not only compact, excellent footprint, and ideal for loads of kitchens, especially those ones we have tighter working areas and cooking sizes in the in cooking space in the kitchen to put appliances. Great, great, great. Okay. okay. So I don't know if the, 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 the camera can pick it up, but that chicken breast is really sizzling away and the, the breast is gonna get really, really crispy. So now on the screen, we can see the next three I need to put in. My fondant chips, my salmon pavé, and then my grilled ribeye steak. So I'll start by putting in the chips and I'll load it. Okay, my seven pave. The unit will tell me to hurry up, so <laughs> I need to take it. My seven pave is in. And now I'm going to put my ribeye in. So over here, I've got a drip tray. I've got my speedy grill ready. So you're going to pull close to me. All I need to do is put in my ribeye, close it, flames. Slides seamlessly back into the rack, put back, close the door, and the unit will start cooking again. So it will immediately it will stop the timer and it will stop the fan, and the process will then kick in again. Again, because I've lost some heat, we're going to have some good energy management system carrying on now to make sure I get back to the optimal heat I want to be very, very fast. So in two minutes and 14 seconds, I need to get my scallops ready. And then overall, two minutes after that, we start plating, which means we'll have four dishes done within 10 minutes. That's really, really fast. Okay. okay. Chef, you mentioned Wi-Fi connection as standard. Yeah. Could you um, just tell us a bit about the, the connectivity of the unit? Yeah, absolutely, Kevin. You know, there's a, obviously the Wi-Fi connectivity is standard, so it's already built in. So all you need to do is when you get your unit is go to your settings, Go to your Wi-Fi, enable the Wi-Fi, and immediately the unit will ask you to register it. So all you need for your registration is your name, business name, so forth, and the, regist and the, the serial number of the unit. You register it. You go to your desktop, link that with your notebook, and you're away to go. That's how easy and fast it is. And then your unit's completely connected. There are, of course, businesses that will say, well, we don't really want the unit with Wi-Fi connectivity. We don't really not going to use that. That's all good and well. The rest of the features on this unit is fantastic which puts it there, right above, right above everybody else. It's market leading and in innovation in design and definitely performance and output. Okay. Okay, and would that give full access to the, um, the HACCP data? Yes, oh, Kevin, that's a, the question that's coming in at the moment. Oh, great, HACCP data, of course, everybody, that's the talking point of kitchen hygiene, very, very important. So your HACCP data will be stored in your unit, but you can also then access it via your cloud remotely. So whether you are sitting in Manchester, in Glasgow, in Edinburgh, or whether you're sitting in Cape Town, South Africa, you can access your unit to make sure and see what the HACCP data was doing. Of course, that will be stored for you as well, and it can be downloaded and printed. In UK and in Europe, it's very, very important that we are still following the paper-based system at the moment, okay, where it needs to be recorded. But the HACCP-based system on here will back it up. So if there's any discrepancies and the EHO health inspector comes in and they're asking you, but now you've probed the chicken, you have written it down at 75 degrees, you put it in the probe there, it can back it up to say, yes, the floor temperature was at 75 degrees at that time. And that's also very, very good if you're doing bulk production and banqueting because it's loads amounts of food going out at the same time. You don't have time to probe every single one of them. Okay. So my next load goes in, scallops. Sorry, scallops are going first, not that. Scallops gonna put on my griddle plate. Okay, does that answer the question on the HACCP, Kevin? Yes, it does, sure. uh, Chef. Yes, absolutely. Um, so can you let us know about, let us know about the, the, the flexibility of the machine? So like, you mentioned um, the multi-level and just-in-time and multi-level plus. Yeah. What's the question, Kevin? Uh, well, just like how, how flexible is, the, is, you know, is it customizable, your screen configuration, et cetera? You know, so like the fle yeah. how flexible. Yeah, absolutely. First and foremost, when you get your unit, there'll be 
<laughs> so you're faster than me when I need to shake. The unit is faster than when I can give you an answer. That's that's <laughs> yeah. not very good efficiency for me. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, Kevin, so out of the box when the unit comes and you switch it on, there will be various recipes in tile format, the one touch cooking ones, um, the, the programs will be on the screen. So the first thing is maybe you don't want all of them. So then you can delete these and they will sit in your book into your, your bank of, of recipes inside your unit and it will also be backed up in the cloud. You can always bring it back to your screen if you want to. So you can really depopulate the screen as much as you want. You can also take the folders away. You can take the multi-level folders away and really make it, your, make it your own and set it up how you want it. That's the first flexible part of it. The second flexible part of it is revolutionary as well. You can even go into a set recipe and amend the recipe at the cooking stages. So if you find that the, a set recipe, a Lennox ICS recipe, for instance, you would like the beef cooked a bit more, you might maybe like the salmon a little bit more pink, you can, in that cooking process, you can change those recipes to suit your, your needs. You can then recreate it as well and set it according to the parameters that you want. It's an extremely flexible unit. Okay. Okay. Sorry for my back. Sorry, this is in. So through the course of what I'm talking, I'm just getting all my garnishes ready. Um, through the course of my talking, you've seen how powerful the unit is. Excellent heat recovery, excellent heat distribution. It's really, really fast. And in a couple of seconds, I'm going to start plating up. Okay, good. Right. So keep on coming with the questions while I'm plating, Kevin. I can. Yeah, can you, can you just uh, enhance us, you know, about the, the power of the unit? Yes. Sorry, Kevin, I lost you. How, how, how does that compare to the previous, like the Naboo Reloaded, so like the Naboo Boosted in terms of power? Well, well first, first and foremost, you can preheat it to 320 degrees. Take nothing away from the predecessor. It was a fantastic unit with enormous efficiency. Really, really great. This one just takes everything to the next level when it comes to power, to the cooking, to the cleaning, everything in, in, everything in one, one great package, Kevin. Okay. I just so, uh, I just didn't get that last bit, Chef. It broke up. Okay. So that's the that's the unit telling me it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. I'm falling down schedule here. <laughs> All right. Okay. Has Chris joined us yet? Uh, Chris is in the house. Yes. Yeah. Welcome, Chris. Good morning. How are you? All good, thank you. I must say, Sean, fantastic presentation. So I'm, I'm, I'm hooked. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. No pressure. Love, <laughs> loving, loving the t-shirt as well. Thank you, sir. Thank you. It's a great design and it's very comfortable. Um, I must say, I do, I do, I do like t-shirts. I, although I'm a chef and I wear the chef jacket on occasion, it's certainly very refreshing to wear a fantastic t-shirt with a, with a good message on it as well. Thank you very much. Thank you for your support. It's an absolute pleasure. Yes. Okay. Chris, do you want to yeah. tell us a bit more and then while I start plating? Well, I was going to say, Chef, that you certainly mentioned uh, some advances there in, in sort of like the boosted, uh, and I certainly agree with you like, that the, the best has just got better. Yeah. Um, there has been a mention in the chat room about a chemical tray with improved access. Can you uh, enlighten us on that one? Sorry, Kevin. I sorry, I did lose you there again for a little bit. Sorry. Uh, there's been a mention about the uh, the chemical tray and improved access. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, again, fantastic advances. You know, the previous unit had the tray stored below the unit very, very efficiently, very safely. With the, with the Naboo and boost it again, it just takes it again to to the whole new level. It's a specific tray that's designed to make it ergonomically. Um, better, but also easier and more convenient for the user to remove, to take out, to clean, to access it, to be able to change the chemicals, but also the trailer, like I said before, it's fully removable. So you can, you can take the trailer and put it in the zinc for washing, for instance, which is great. So. Okay. You can really, really get in there. I promise. Yeah. 
Is the unit still supplied with a food core probe? Yes, the unit is still supplied with a core probe. Again, I'll show you the location of that as soon as I'm done. Uh -huh. Okay, as always, there's the option to have to have the core probe, uh, the SUVI core probe, the multi core probe, there's still that option to have that as well. Okay. So I'm, I'm just going to bring Paul in on the, the, the uh, next question, uh, Chef. Oh, thank you. Um, Paul, this is one for you. Uh, how many models are there in the Lenox Naboo boosted portfolio? Okay, Kev. Um, now we have um, 14 models in the Naboo range of your 610s, uh, uh, the larger models. And then we have a standard offering um, of compact models, and which there are four of, a two-third, a six-grid, a ten-grid, and, and a boiler six-grid as well. So 18 models in total, Kev, so uh, quite a large and diverse range. Okay, and, and does this, uh, does that sort of apply to the Sapiens also? Yeah, it's, um, it's a mirror image across uh, both product ranges. So uh, giving the customer the choice then of uh, what, what they need in technology. So 36 options, really. So it should uh, Absolutely, suit, yes. suit every application, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Great stuff. Thanks for that, Paul. Uh, you're welcome. I think you've done it, Sean, because I put my camera on. <laughs> As always, I would love for you guys to be here and taste the food. Um, I do hope there's some hungry people around here because there's going to be some good food left. Okay. Here we go. Who's the lucky people at the factory today then, Chef? Sorry, Kevin? Who's the lucky people at the factory today? <laughs> that there's going to be sampling your food. I'll let my colleague Steve decide that. <laughs> So I have the present. I hope you like the presentation. As you can see, um, Steve will bring the camera a bit closer now to the food, but you can see the consistency of it just, you know, so controlled. And in fact, because I'm quite honest, actually, I like to always am, the units I've only had for literally for a couple of days. And yesterday and today were my two first, you know, proper, proper days working with the unit and on the unit. And again, I've programmed this multi-level program this morning and fantastic results already, which I'm very, very happy with. Okay. So again, it will show the flexibility and, and, and so forth on the unit, which is, which is fantastic and great. Okay, the steak. I know the steak's your favorite, Kevin. There you go. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you. Okay, also, Jeff, you, you, you've always sort of like um, provided your support like to uh, uh, customers, end users um, re regarding all the, the equipment that Falcon supply. Um, yeah. I, I should imagine that you're looking forward to this pandemic being over um, so that we can get back to that, uh, the support. Kevin, I can't say how much I want that to happen. Goodness me. Certainly, you know, the new normal has provided us with opportunities still to support our customers remotely via these webinars you know, face to, well, not face to face, virtual planning sessions, you know, one-to-one -one video calls and stuff like that. Um, but certainly, you know, spending time, you know, with a with customer, you know, is, 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 is great. And I, do, I do miss that. I do miss traveling the country and supporting people. And you guys, wherever you need me, whether it's in Ireland or wherever, that's great. But certainly the support won't stop. The support won't stop. I'm learning this new unit as well. And even within my second day, because it's so easy and efficient to use, I'm, you know, really, really, Really pleased with the results so far. Gentlemen, sir, four plates of food done. Forget my oily. So we've got a lovely salmon here. So Scottish salmon with um, wild garlic and chive um, mash, tomato compote, beautiful first season asparagus, and a salmon pave. We've got a ribeye steak here, grilled medium. We've got a compote of, of, um, of pink peppercorns, some cream reduction, a nice mushroom gratin, oven fondant chips, confit garlic, and then a jus. On this far side, I've got chicken breast, and it's a big chicken breast, free range, done in 10 minutes with a nice crispy skin on a cassoulet of white beans. And then from my dear friend from the Isle of Barra, thank you very much, James. I've got um, Barra scallops, a wild garlic and pea velute, fresh peas and um, prosciutto. And that's it in a nutshell, who does me? <laughs> okay. 
All right, so if the camera, I'll just go for the camera for you to show you the chemical trays. So the chemical tray on the bottom, first of all, your probe is situated now with your unit. It's integrated with your unit, runs on the side, neatly tucked away, and you have access to it over here. Two clamps, clip it loose, and install the same as before, run it and into your product that you are cooking, and then get your temperature on your device for the core temperature, and then remove it, sanitize it, and place it neatly and safely back to where it was before. So there's no opportunity oh, just, to- uh... Sean, can I just interrupt? Yes. Re really sorry. Um, guys, just sorry to interrupt Sean's presentation. We got Chris with us from the Burnt Chef today. Um, unfortunately, Chris is going to have to leave us quite soon. And, and I'm hoping he'd just like to say a few words uh, at the end of the presentation here. Chris? Yeah, by all means, no problem at all. Chris, Do you want me to take, it, take it away now? Yes, please, Chris, yeah. Okay, no worries. So firstly, I mean, a big thank you to you guys for for sponsoring the Burnt Chef project and agreeing to make a donation for everyone that's joined today. And so thank you for, for whoever's seen that message and, and come along uh, for that reason as well. So very, very quickly, the Burnt Chef project is a hospitality focused. Um, there you go, Lawrence. Good to see you, sir. Liking the t-shirt. Thank you. So it's a hospitality focused um, campaign. And what we're aiming to do here is basically revolutionize the subject of mental health and, and well-being by challenging the stigma that's attached to it, educating individuals within the hospitality industry and providing support to those who need it. Um, so anyone might, who might be suffering from their, you know, with mental illness or mental health issues can contact us using uh, the Burnt Chef Support Service and we'll provide one-on-one uh, -on -one support for those individuals at, at that particular time. So it's great to be able to get exposure to, to on platforms like this, um, to be able to get more people aware of the work that the Burnt Chef Project is doing. And if anyone in particular is interested in learning more, uh, you can head over to our website, which is www.theburntchefproject.com, uh, where you'll find a whole host of resources and information, including access to our podcast, access to the support service, and also the shop where you can see uh, Lawrence and Sean, who are very, very kindly uh, uh, modeling some of our, our merchandise. And that also helps basically continue and fund our ongoing work as a nonprofit. And so, again, thanks ever so much, guys. Thanks for having me. And um, great, great demonstration, Sean. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris. Thank you very much. Thank you. And thank Chris, you for thank the great you. work that you, you and you guys are doing. Eh? Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, Chris, for the great work you are doing for the hospitality workers. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll, I'll, I'll bow out now, but uh, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye, Chris. Bye. Thank you, Chris. Bye. Thanks, Chris. Sorry to interrupt, Chef. No, no, that's, that's all good. It's, as I said with the webinars, I want to make it, you know, when you guys come and visit here with the customers, it's very interactive. And I do like the banter that we have. And unfortunately, we're not face to face, but that still continues. So thanks, Paul and Kevin. That's great. Guys, so that, that was going to be, I was going to talk about the chemical tray quickly, and then I'll quickly bounce to the safe ends as well, just to give you an introduction to that. So the core probe, and it gets neatly stored behind the door in the side. So there's no chance for that core probe to go missing. So that one of the great advances from this unit to the predecessor when it comes to the chemical tray, as I spoke to you before, these are now individual. So the door opens individually. Okay, so you still have your cleaning detergent over there and your cal-free liquid over there for your boiler management. These trays can come out individually, which will make it easier to, which will make it easier to replace your replace your chemical and to reload it. But also again, if there's some splashes and you get the white sediment starting to form, you can then take that whole tray out and actually again wash it, dry it and return it back to the unit. So much more, much more safer, much more efficient and, and just, a, just a great design feature for sure. Yeah. And these models are available in boiler and boiler less versions, Sean, yeah? Yes, yeah. Inside also, when I close the door, you can see brilliant illumination inside the chamber. And again, that's, that's powered by two LED strips, which gives you front to back illumination. So the whole chamber is then lit up. So you can see what you're cooking. Especially when it comes to me, I made loads of mistakes. But anyway, I think today, um, Steve, will, Steve will be the, the judge. I think the products came out excellent on, on, the, on the programs I've done. So thank that's you. Amazing. So that's we'll amazing. go to the left. And as I mentioned, we will do um, a proper um, full webinar on the, the Sapiens unit and the system model. This, there's no shame about this unit. It's a fantastic device. However, the Naboo's cooking, the Sapiens is going to do exactly the same within the chamber. Only difference is, is that it doesn't have the, the smart 
tablet style screen. So everything is still in the digital LED format. Doesn't matter, it's simple, simple to operate again as well. But then again, efficiencies and also um, user-friendly uh, changes they've made, which is great. The actual information screens now, information screen is much, much bigger. So you can have, now see more clearly what you're doing and it's at a better level as well to your eye. You don't have to look down to see it. You can actually see it right in front of you and interactive again with the ICS recipes, different washing cycles, great device. As I said, same cooking performance in this unit as what you have in here. There's no difference what happens inside the chamber. So Nabu just takes it completely to a level which is just right up there um, with this controllability and user-friendly um, platform. Okay. That's Jeff, I'll just, let, I'll, I'll just let you know one comment that's come in from Andrew from uh, Sterling Food Service Consultants. Um, this is a modern form of torture. You can see it, but not taste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I, I will definitely not let the scallops go to waste because they are absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um, so so um, uh, we, we can look forward to a Sapiens webinar soon, Chef? Yeah, yeah. I mean, certainly I can. <laughs> yes, I can give a hint. I mean, Steve's already frowning on the other side. We need to start getting planning for that together. But yeah, the webinar will happen soon. As I said, I spent two days with this unit now. Fantastic. And I'm, I'm in love. But I still miss my other one. But I'm, I'm in love with this unit now. Now I need to learn my Sapiens again. But the, as I said, that the... The technologies are obviously more improved. The controlling is similar to the last one. It's just getting to grips with, you know, how the format works and then develop a webinar for you guys and I'll present it accordingly. Um, so look, I look forward to that as well. Great stuff. Chef, all I can do is thank you. Um, absolutely brilliant as usual. Um, some great dishes served up and very informative. Uh, any last thoughts from you? Yeah, I just wanted to, to, to again say um, thank you to, to Chris who just left us for the opportunity to be able to present today with this beautiful cause that we have um, behind us, which is so, so important. But also, again, thank you for the opportunity to, to present and to present this unit behind me. And thank you. And um, just thanks for all the support on social media. And like I always end, to say that uh, my support doesn't stop. So pick up the phone, get in touch, email. Um, you know, if, if I have the time at that minute, I'll answer you straight away. Otherwise, I'll let you know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So that will never stop. Just a reminder, guys, keep it cooking. Thank you very much and stay safe. Thank you very much, Chef.